What's going on everybody? Tweech here. Welcome back to more of the walkthrough. Uh, this time we're going to go over to World 5, uh, 5 one. We're going to start that. Uh, but we're, we aren't going to complete the entirety of World 5 just yet. We do have quite a bit of, of stuff to do before we, we uh, complete World 5. Uh, but for now, uh, there are a few things that we need to prepare for. Uh, make sure you have your uh, lava bow. Uh, a quite a few arrows. I'm probably going to buy a, a few more, probably about 150. Uh, and then um, make sure you have uh, the Dragon Longsword with you. The fire damage does uh, quite a bit in this world. And in fact, the, the final boss is weak to fire. Uh, obviously have your Claymore with you. I'm going to keep the Meat Cleaver with me uh, just in case I need it. Um, but we should be ready to go. Oh, also the other thing I changed up was uh, putting the Thief Ring on, as you can see. Um, just under that 50% equipment burden uh, with this setup. I'm probably going to start with the Dragon Longsword, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and as always, we're going to go back up and go into uh, Soul Form. Yeah, I really hope uh, you guys are enjoying this walkthrough. I've been uh, I put together quite a bit of an extensive list of uh, notes uh, to give us the best option, at least in my opinion, uh, the best way to go through the game if you want to complete it 100% and with including all the uh, world tendency shifts, uh, both uh, you know character and world tendency, along with uh, going after that uh, that prized possession of the penetrator armor. Um, but uh, yeah, when I was when I first started this game, I I wanted to go in. Of course, it was a blind playthrough. I never played any Demon Souls or Dark Souls games. In fact, the only game before Demon Souls uh, from uh, that I played from uh, from software was a uh, was Sekiro. Uh, that game, of course, was brutal. Uh, I also have that on the channel as well. I just completed that uh, that walkthrough. Well, not really a walkthrough. That 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 playthrough and. Um, but that being said, coming into Demon Souls, I, I didn't know what I was doing or what I was getting in, in, in for. So I wanted to experience everything for myself without any help. So I didn't use any other walkthroughs. Uh, I did look up a few things, uh, mainly the uh, what to do with the souls. I, cannot uh, I did not want to uh, use boss souls that... Uh, eventually I'd want to use for another purpose uh, or accidentally ruin a part of the game that I you know I definitely wanted to uh, to have uh, later on so uh, what could I do here uh, but that being said uh, that's why I put this walkthrough together hopefully you're, you're enjoying it you're getting everything out of it that you expected and uh, of course if you have any comments or um, you know improvements uh, what, whatever whatever you have for me uh, you know, feedback would be great. But uh, let's see. I don't want any of this stuff, actually. <laughs> let's just get right into it, right? Enough of this m messing around. We're pretty much set up, ready to go. Uh, 8,000 souls. Yeah. Oh, arrows. Almost forgot the arrows. I can forge weapons. Uh, do I need to repair? Eh, I just repair them. Not much. 65 souls. Like I said, I, I'd carry about 150 arrows. I use them a lot in this this world uh, just because it's such a pain in the ass. If you've ever played uh, Dark Souls One, I heard that it's. I haven't. Uh, I'm in the process of playing Dark Souls One, so I didn't get everywhere. But I think they said that this is equivalent uh, depraved chasm as. Uh, what is it? One of the one of the boards, one of the worlds in um, one of the areas in, in Dark Souls One, I think. Uh, man, I can't remember the name of it, but uh, very reminiscent with uh, with the wooden uh, platforms and, and things like that. All right, so depraved chasm. Uh, this humid valley is a haven for uh, the used and forgotten. Its inhabitants afflicted by poison and plague 
await their deaths in this forsaken place, attacking those who wander in, uh, hoping to offer their souls to the one woman who showed them compassion. All right. All right, so yep, just come forward and hit the noble's uh, lotus. So uh, just keep note of this. Uh, when you want to change this world tendency to pure black, uh, this is the best way to do it. You'll enter here, go into body form, and roll off this edge. It's pretty quick. Probably the quickest way in, in this area. Make our way up and just be prepared when you get towards the top here. Be a, a few enemies. Might want to get your shield ready. So two hits. Uh, we're going to come over here to the right. Uh, there isn't anything back there. This just drops down and pretty much die. And come over here to the right. Grab this item. Break this. And what I'm going to do is just roll off of here. Turn and backstab. Okay. Now here is our shooting gallery so i'm gonna come up a little bit get your bow out and let's see what we got we have start over here to the right there's this dude up here ready to ambush us i can't one shot him yet okay there is another guy i think i think it's this guy right there oh it won't let me get him uh now we just Shoot across the bridge. Ooh, one shot him. One shot you, sir. Ooh, Ooh miss. 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 Okay. Seven times the charm. And uh, let's grab this guy here. Good. Uh, there are a few others, uh, but we'll get them... In just a moment. That helps us out a lot. So that guy's dead. How did he push those down, though? Anyway, he's already dead. Okay, we're going to hit him. We're not going to go that route. There is a ladder you could kind of see over there. Um, if we need to later on come back that route. Uh, you could go up here. So we're going to drop down here, get this glowy. Morning Star. Morning Star is really good. Uh, it's a blunt weapon, but also causes bleed. Actually, pretty good in World Four. Yeah, World Four with uh, with all the skeletons. All right, so we're gonna come over here and kick this down. After we read signs. Again. Uh, and over here is the Talisman of God. So, uh, if you happen to need one, it's pretty early in the, uh, the board or in the world here. You could come over to World 5, come down here, get another Talisman, and then, uh, warp out if, if that's all you needed. Okay, we're gonna roll off and do quick, quick slices to those fools. Uh, there's a few ways to go here. This could seem a little bit more of a maze. You can go down this way. We are actually going to go across here and do the drop down to get all these glowies and come across. Okay. But before we do that, let's get this item here. Uh, there's a... Eh, I could shoot that dude quick. What the hell? <laughs> oh, I suck. Okay. That's why I never play like rangers or any kind of archery or ranged character in in games. Man, I am horrible at that. Even first person shooters. No bueno. Uh, so, yep, we want to drop down here. Get this item. Uh, and just be careful. There are some gaps holes that you don't want to go down just yet. 
uh, without getting these items. It's a little bit of a pain to get back up. Uh, here we're good to drop down again. Uh, there should be an item. Yep. Uh, and then we want to make our way over to this side. Now there are uh, two of these guys. So what we could use... Uh, you don't have to if you don't have them on you, but I, I tend to keep the soul remains. Um, you could throw a soul remains if you want. Uh, gets them over there and do your backstabbing. Okay, grab this item. Magical dullness. Uh, so that is good against. It's pretty good against mage, uh, mages. So if, uh, raises your magic defense, but also lowers yours. Not a bad item to get. Uh, this is another area that I'd like to see before we jump down. We're gonna throw soul remains over there and see if we could get get them to go over. No. All right. So we're going to run over to this side, and I guess they're not here just yet, okay. I'm good with that. Yep, don't walk in the middle, sorry. Uh, that drops down. We are going to go down that way, but just to show you. There should be, yep, two of these guys. Uh, crossing this bridge. Uh, that's where we would have came down originally, but wanted that item, and I'll show you here. Okay. Right up here is where we got this item, and you can see we're right back to where we dropped down. Okay, we're going to cross the bridge here. All right, we're going to keep on going down this way and I think, yep, there's these two guys so, or four guys, jeez that's where those guys uh, went to so there was two guys that were up here uh, I guess they must have dropped down but uh, you could also use Soul Remain get them in that corner and Another good thing to use here is the, uh, like, fire bombs if you have any. Where are they? Come on. We are going to just jump down. Yeah, just be ready for a pretty good ambush. You need to have your uh, shield up uh, that entire time. Soul Remains does help at times. Uh, you want to snipe them just like we did there and uh, jump down here. Uh, we are going to go off of this ledge here in just a moment, but first, let's open this pathway up. Grab this item. And there are a few guys down here we are going to kill first. Just because when we cross back over the bridge here, it is a bit of a pain. These guys can ambush you again. Just be careful as you come down here. Of course, shield up. And in here's a few guys that are just running here. Just start swinging. And that should be everybody. Faint stone. Nice. That's for any faith type weapons. Alright, so we're not going to cross this bridge just yet. We... We're going to go over this way. I'm going to put, uh, just again, like I have been doing, I will put this down just to show 
where we are. Alright, now this could be a little tricky. Uh, you want, we want to walk off, off here very slowly. And there is an ambush of th two to three, I think, of those dudes. Uh, and they're ready to go, so you want to have your shield up, just ready to go. There you go, and start swinging. <laughs> nice, dark moon grass. Okay, get our bow out, shoot this guy up top. He likes to ambush. And there is a lizard. We are going to shoot this guy because sometimes I miss him. Okay. Yeah, sometimes he gets away before I could get to him. Now, as soon as we get... Oh, this guy's coming down early. As soon as we come over here to this dude, you can see everything starts coming alive. That was laying down. <laughs> Careful, carefully grab this stuff, man. Now, if you're playing a faith build, or if you watch the uh, the let's play that I did, I was a faith build when I started. Uh, I came over here early to get uh, this blessed mace. Blessed mace. Plus one scales with your faith, so it was a pretty strong weapon early on, uh, but primarily uh, faith build. And then uh, kick this over. Now we're going to go back up here and around just to get where we were. Uh, this next part could be a little tricky. There are these simple little rats that you are going to be like, oh, they're just little rats. They kill me <laughs> more often than I'd like to admit. They're just so quick. Like, look at that. And then the plague. Uh, okay, we need the purple. Yeah, with plague, they just are very quick to hit. There, a couple more. What? Man, the aim on this thing is, well, it's probably more user error than anything. And right, now, uh, this is a pretty decent farming star, uh, spot for these arch stones. If you need any, they do drop pretty, quite regularly uh, from the rats. But like I said, it's quite a far way in if you're just going to be farming them. It's probably better to farm souls and just buy them from a merchant. I come up here and speaking of merchant, you, there, won't you? you get the filthy lady. Uh, so she does have uh, ephemeral eye, the uh, chain stuff. There's another talisman of God. War pick. I don't think I've ever used the war pick. Uh, black pine resin. Some more plague. Uh, Flowers. Let's see. I think I'll buy three more of those because I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna use those. Finished already. Yeah, she's a little cocky. And we're gonna work our way back up just to get everything. Now these sticks can poison you if you're not careful. They're not like. Obviously, they're not difficult by any means, but uh, you may get, get uh, poison from them. Uh, and then we're going to come out here to the right along this ledge. Man, the timing is off. <laughs> along this edge, and we will get the Saint Armor. Well, we're going to send that away, Ephemeral Eye. Good for a faith build. I liked it for my faith build. And then as you can see, this is where we would have crossed. 
uh, when we came down there. Oh. Uh, let's just work our way back down. Okay, now for another tough part. There's a couple things we could try to do. I'm going to keep this uh, dragon sword on. But you can see that big giant. Right? That giant is a piece of garbage. Uh, I have a tough time with this just because as he comes over here this is your area that you're going to work in to fight him uh, so it may take a you know a few times if you're not ready the other thing that works well is again using the soul remains so I'm going to see if I could lure him over here with a couple of these fire that over and oh he didn't like that too long Okay. Okay. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. We got enough enough health off of them to uh, make it a little bit easier to fight. So sometimes the soul remain, if you throw it close to a ledge, the enemy will jump off the ledge. Um, it's not that easy to perform. Alright, so there's... I don't know if this guy will... Oh, he didn't even pop up. Couple guys in here. Same thing, just go in swinging. Uh, another thing to note... Right back here, when we have this to pure white world tendency, right here a ladder will be uh, will form, and uh, we'll go up top for a faith spear. That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, it's advised to get that as early as possible because it does kind of lose its luster, uh, meaning it's it's not that powerful as a faith weapon. Uh, a little bit like. Probably mid or late game, it's not really worth it. Alright, so we are poisoned, and that poison is kicking my butt. Let's see, where is... yep, Noble. Okay, now, we have another one of those guys, but before that, we're going to clear this area and just like before now we sh yeah I was gonna say we should be able to kill him before he even crosses the bridge now we're uh, pretty much right at the boss here kind of a short area if you know where you're going uh, and you're not uh, not dying a lot. So if you have to go here early, like I did with the Faith build, which is pretty much the first world that I went to, uh, after, of course, beating Phalanx, uh, this could be very brutal. Very tough to do. Okay, so... Let's, uh, let's see what we could do here for this fight. Um... I am going to put on Pine Resin, and uh, let's see, I don't know if I could put it on the clay, oh, I could put on the Claymore. So we'll, I wonder, can I, so if I put on the Claymore, or, hmm, nah, I'll just stick with the, with this. Uh, all right, so this boss is extremely weak to fire. So what we're going to do is there's a couple different ways to fight this guy. Uh, you could stay up top and try to hit him with arrows. The problem with that is after a little bit, he'll start regenerating his health constantly. Uh, and it's almost impossible, not not impossible, but very close to impossible to beat him that way because uh, you, your fire rate has to be perfect and uh, really, really high for... Uh, 
for you to kill him before he heals himself. And you'd probably need a good 150 to 200 arrows itself just on him. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom and we're just going to start wailing on him with this fire sword. Uh, I may switch over to the claymore uh, with the black pine resin, but I don't think I will need to do that. The other thing you need to worry about is your uh, poison health uh, because when you go into the, uh, the water, there's a good chance that you do get uh, leeches on you and it starts draining your, your health with, uh, I believe, poison. So he's all the way down there, so we're just going to go down to the left here. So like I said, you could probably sit up here and start sniping him, but I find it a lot easier to do it this way. And keep on running. You're going to hear him, uh, and in just the second here, he's going to start firing leeches at you. You just want to get out of the way. We're going to drop down here, uh, get this item. And now you can see we're already taking a little bit of uh, leech damage, but we're go away. As you can see, he is... Oh, I was going to say, he's taking quite a bit of damage, but then he just punched me in the face. Make sure you have your... Oh my god. Uh, make sure you have your shield up. Oh. I'm not doing well with him. Uh. Yeah, you could pretty much tank a lot of his hits. He's not really that strong, but... And just like that. He's dead. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, and uh, with that note, the uh, stone is over there. We're just going to check the battlefield just to make sure I got everything. I don't see anything this time. The one thing I haven't figured out is every once in a while, there'll just be random items showing up. So, like, just to just so you could see, there is nothing here. But when we come back to it, because this archstone we're gonna we're gonna come back to a few times, uh, you will see the uh, items just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> All right, so let's head back to the nexus. All right, so with that, what is our the writhing demon soul? Uh, this you could use for Poison Cloud as a uh, spell. Use Cure uh, for Saint Urbane uh, as a miracle. Now, Cure will cure uh, pretty much all your statuses, uh, ailments, I think, Plague, Poison. Um, and I think it does, and Bleed. But either way... Since we have a lot of the flowers and it's a lot easier and quicker to use that uh, to cure those things, I'm going to end up using this writhing uh, demon soul. You get 6,400 souls, which is pretty good. And then we're going to use up the rest of these souls, see if we can do any leveling. All right, so... I believe we wanted to get this to 30, and then we're going to start pumping uh, more into deck. So we're, we're doing pretty good with our, our quality build here. Art thou finished? Yes, thou is. May thy strength help the world be mended. And just like normal, come up. And uh, go back to uh, soul form.
Uh, now for the uh, the next video, next part of the walkthrough, we're going to go back to uh, World 3. There's quite a bit of stuff we need to get done in World 3 before we can continue. And the reason being is the next portion of World 5 is... Um, let's see here. That's the Swamp. Swamp of Sorrow. Uh, walking through the Swamp, obviously, you, you already know you're going to get poisoned. However, without a ring, the sodden ring that you could find in World 3 up there, um, without getting that, it's it's pretty t difficult. It's not impossible. Uh, again, if you watched the uh, Let's Play with my Faith build, I had to do that to get my uh, Moonlight Great Sword early like I wanted. Uh, I ran through that area without the sodden ring, and it still was tough. It took me a few tries, but I was able to do it. Uh, but again, if you're new to the game, we're going to leave that swamp until we get the Sodden Ring. And what that'll do is it'll give us the ability to walk through that swamp, run through it fastly, and uh, roll just like normal. But without the, that ring, you're going to trudge through it in a, pretty much at a walking pace, even when you're holding the run button. And then you cannot roll. It stops you from rolling, so it makes it very difficult with a lot of enemies. Uh, now, in order to do that, we need to complete a lot of the White World Tendency events in there first, because as you can see, uh, Tower of Latria is, is shining pure white, just like most of the other, almost all of them, uh, worlds are. So we're going to do all those tendencies first, uh, including our first step into Fractured Mode. Uh, and the reason why we're going to do Fractured Mode with Latria first is we're going to get those uh, coins or uh, the key that we need to get our penetrator armor. But then we're going to turn this to pure black, the whole world to pure black. So then we're going to do those events and get the sodden ring in order to complete World 5. So it is quite a bit of stuff that needs to get done before we're going to continue in World 5. All right, with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I, um, I hope it's really helping you guys out with uh, your playthrough. Uh, as well, and you're enjoying it. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.